Intel will launch Meteor Lake processors in the second half of this year. A few days ago, the official also released a new naming system. The new Ultra series is introduced, but the original XX generation core is retained. The bad news is that although Meteor Lake has upgraded the Intel 4 process in the new 3D package, but mainly for notebook platforms, the desktop core is an upgraded version of the 13th generation core Raptor Lake series. Compatible with 600 and 700 series chipsets, it is estimated that it is mainly to upgrade the frequency. This means that there is no need to upgrade the 12th and 13th generation core desktops this year. Waiting for the next generation Arrow Lake 15th generation core, it stands to reason that it will also become the core Ultra series next year. Arrow Lake is still the core of P plus E. The large core P core is upgraded to the Lion Cove architecture. The small core E core is upgraded to the Scamont architecture. There are originally two options for the process. The low-end i3 series is the first to use the Intel 20A process. The middle and high-end i5, i7, i9 series are manufactured by TSMC with 3 nanometers process. However, the latest statement that the 20A process did not meet expectations. TSMC's 3 nanometers process has been fully replaced. In terms of architecture, it was previously rumored that the 15th generation core will be upgraded from the current 8P plus 160 to 8P plus 32E. That is, up to 40 cores and 48 threads. However, this version should also be cut. Still maintain the combination of 8P plus 16E, 24 cores and 32 threads. Anyway, multi-core performance is enough. As for performance improvement, compared with the current 13th generation core, the single core of the 15th generation core can be improved by 30-40%. Without 40 cores, the multi-core improvement will not be exaggerated, but there are still more than 40% and the last is the time to market. The 15th generation core is expected to be available in the Q4 quarter of 2024. The first launch is also the high-end model of the K series, and in the Q1 quarter of 2025, the product line will be gradually completed. So what do you think about this? Like and follow. See you next time.